Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Zalanka run here, our Feed My Kids run. Just getting some fertilizer down on this grass. And we've got to go pick us out a harvester, if we can afford one. I just realized we're a little bit low on money. But I think we'll be okay. What did we get last time? We got... Didn't we get the top liner or... The, what did we get last time? Don't remember suddenly. Now, was I going to go for something nice or was I going to go for something small? I think we got that one last time. And I think I wanted to go a little bit nicer. Although, to be fair, it is hard to get much nicer than that without basically breaking the bank all of a sudden. Like, the only ones that would qualify would be the New Holland or the John Deere here, right? Um, which I think I would lean towards the New Holland. It's cheaper, and the, the oat header is a little bit wider, so it's ni slightly nicer. I mean, can we even afford this? Barely. <laughs> we can barely afford it. Oh, goodness. But I want it. <laughs> I want it. Uh, you know what? We're going to go for it. What's the worst that happens? We run out of money. Uh, one good thing, though, is that uh, we will start with this header, I guess. Um, we Because we're not ready for the corn anyway. We will be selling our milk here relatively soon. So we're not, not impossibly far away from that. Plus, I do have some... Um, I think I just dropped off some slurry. I'm about to drop off some manure as soon as I get this guy set up. And that'll get us some uh, a little bit more money from that as well. I think we'll get a little bit money back next month. It's starting to get a little bit. This is the last big piece of equipment we needed though, right? So we get we, we recover from this. You know, we find a way to be able to have enough money after this. Then we should be fine going forward. Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit through here, am I? Oh, just a little too wide. That's right, I made it. Once we get it into the farm, we don't need it. I'm not worried about where it fits anymore because we're good. We made it. All right. We do want to enable the straw swath because we do want straw. And I'm not sure. Oh, I was going to say, I hope like my guy's done fertilizing. He doesn't need to fertilize the unfertilizable fields. And let's grab you. Hold you up. Good thing is our cereal factory will be able to do a little bit of cereal too because it does have some corn at the moment not a lot but some all right time to put some manure uh get, pick up some manure uh and i think it's okay to transport manure in the same trailer that you transport your grain in. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a normal thing. Also, I'm not 100% sure actually if this thing can even transport the manure. I think it can. like we're good take a nice full load over there that should be some decent money for us To go check here in a moment, see how much uh 
manure we still have over there. I'm actually tempted to turn this trailer into a full-time manure thing, but it would mean I'd have to get another trailer or the semi or something for the for the grain. Which we can do, but that's just more money we're having to spend right now. How much money did we lose last month? Ah, we technically gained money. So the only thing we lost money on so far this month is just the leasing of the of the vehicle. So we can continue to gain a little bit of money each month, especially since I just dropped off some manure. Uh, actually, we still have slurry. Was that last month? Oh, we, yeah, we have slurry and, and manure in here now. So that should give us some decent money from that as well. Obviously, we're still selling the, uh, the grape juice. That's still going. And we're also still selling the uh, raisins for now. Yeah, we might be okay to just turn this into a manure trailer and get us a uh, an actual grain trailer for our semi. Just to kind of, I don't know, just a, it's nice. It just feels nice to have. Not really critical in the grand scheme of things, but. We got a full process now, though. My goodness. We got everything going into the cereal. We got all the stuff that's going in for the cows. Now we got the biogas using up the stuff from the cows. We got a full, full thing going. All right. So not a full trailer out there. How much would it cost us to get us a decent semi-trailer? Doesn't have to be crazy big. Whatever the cheapest semi-trailer would be. Uh, That one does corn. That one also does oats so that's one price <laughs> 59,000 75,000 95 84 honestly I don't ever I don't usually use this one but I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work now it does have the two hoppers or the two uh outputs so I think you'd have to shift a little bit to kind of handle that but that's not that big of a deal It'd be, I mean, I usually go with these because these are just like big, right? I usually go with one of these or one of these, depending on how I'm feeling at the time. Um, I guess I could check those used a lot just to make sure. Oh, man. Nice little header there. Wish I had money. <laughs> It'd be a weird combo. It'd be a Christmas combo, but it would work. That would have been a nice, nice harvester. All right. I think we're going to go with this i mean i could always go with one that just i pull behind because i do have the trailer hitch on it which is i mean it is an option don't need that much well, actually i didn't see this one it's a side dump um it really doesn't hold that much though so if i'm gonna go with that i mean it's that's barely any more than the, the half pipe i think we go with this one just i don't know a little bit different can I change the main color? Oh, I don't want to buy it. I want to change the color. Oof. Shiny. Black. Pewter. <laughs> For some reason, I kind of like the pewter. It's just kind of basic. Um, sure. How much is this going to cost at least? More than we probably have, but we'll get it. It's going to make me happy. And I think that's part of the game. <laughs> part of the point of the game is to make me happy. <laughs> Yeah, the double hoppers is a little unusual, but it's not like it's going to hurt anything. 
Oh look, just in time. I mean this is overkill. We do not need this big of a trailer. We could we could definitely make trips and drop it off without it, but again, the point is I like it. <laughs> you know, I wanted it. <laughs> a little bit of hay. We're going to lose quite a bit of hay, but that's all right. Suppose if worse comes to worse, we feel like we have too much straw. I can always drop some straw off at the uh, biogas as well. Alright, let me get a little bit more of this field done, and I will bring you guys back in a bit. All right, we're back. We're almost done with the second field, actually. Filling up the second hopper as well. Get this uh, unloaded, and then we will get the semi out of the way, because obviously we've got to finish this row. Also almost done with the bailing of the straw. Did you hear? Let's grab you. I'm finishing picking up the straw off of this field to go drop off in the barn. The straw off this other field, because I know the straw off this this field 51 is enough to make us a year plus, right? Like we, we this is more than enough straw for our cows between food and, and bedding. So the rest of the straw off the other field, I'm actually going to go ahead and put that into the biogas plant, because why not at this point? We've got it. We might as well use it. Um, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of my thing. It's like, why not? Make the most of the resources that we have. Not quite make that cur curve the way I had been. There we go. Somebody put a, put a bail fork in our way, but I don't know who left that there. That's that. Let's get uh, let's get this guy unloaded real quick. We will be turning this field into corn next cycle, so we'll just kind of like I said, flip flop between the two. I think that'll be okay. All right, 
almost 30,000 liters of oats. Not bad. I don't remember how that compares, but I'm assuming it's got to be close to double what we had last time, right? Alright, nice. How are we looking on the uh, maximum? Like, Are we close to maximum? Ah, you know, 30,000. It's, it's about halfway, so it looks like it can hold about six, Which makes sense. If it can hold 30,000 raisins, it should hold 60,000 oats. That does make perfect sense. Alright, cool. Happy with that. Let's get the trailer, I guess, brought back over here because we will be using it for the uh, corn here in a bit. All right, back to... Okay, you're good. You can... I mean, we're going to drop off your header somewhere. Get ready for the corn header. Just not sure where we're going to stick this. You can chill there. Uh, we'll come back to you. Let's get this dropped off. We'll grab the last two off that first field. Thought about doing horses. I have not done horses in FS22 at all. Thought about doing horses as kind of like a I don't know, something fun to add in with the uh, the potato chips and chocolate. I don't know. I'm not sure if that makes as much sense, but. So I might save the horse thing for a different let's play at some point. All right, part of me wants to do a let's play where I do all the animals. Be a bit crazy, but also kind of fun. I'm just going to drop a couple of these off real quick and see what it kind of looks like over there. Get all the different uh, options turned on. Make sure we have the slurry turn on the manure and, of course, now the straw. It's interesting that this biogas plant also does uh, potatoes. Obviously, if we do potatoes, we have other things in mind for the potatoes. Hmm. I'm assuming I got to drop this off like next to that, maybe. There we go. Let's see what we got. 
So we're definitely going to be doing... We're not going to be doing silage at all, I don't think. We got the slurry turned on. We got the manure turned on. Those are both the same rates, which is cool. Actually, the slurry is almost done processing today. Uh, and then straw. Straw actually processes a lot to make quite a bit less overall power, but it's still something, you know, why not? Apparently straw makes a lot of good digestion though, for whatever that's worth. Uh, I did find the prices though. We do have the prices listed here, right? Electric charge is about 349 max price. Methane's 449 and then the digest is 36 bucks. So not we're getting much for the digested, but it's something, right? We might as well. And we're getting the power from it as well. Uh let me Let me finish bailing up actually. Get you drive, driven back over here. But we will finish the bailing process. more months I think until milk selling time I think it's October is what we saw before that will be a nice month I think we'll need it too <laughs> we're getting a little bit low on money aren't we but I have been getting a lot of things so to be fair we're I think we're basically done with the big purchases for now I mean the only other thing we got left is to lease the uh, corn header other than that, I don't think there's anything else we need. We got all the trailers we need. We got all the buildings we need. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Kind of just rinse and repeat for a few more years. At least until, what did, what did I say before? Year 12, I guess? Year 12, year 13? That's when we're, once, once the kids become teenagers, that's when we're going to be switching over to the, uh, other stuff. So we got six more years of this. Now this is gonna, this might be a bit tedious because this is the longer stretch, but it will help make sure that we are hopefully getting you know maximum value from our cows and things like that. If we made this too short of a period of time, then the cows are just complete, complete you know, waste of money. Now that we got everything established, though, I think I'll try to find ways to speed it up a little bit. Kind of speed through these next six years a little bit more. Um, things like that. We'll figure it out. I'll say this though, if we are going to be sending stuff over to the uh, biogas, like the extra straw that we don't need, it might be worth getting a forage wagon instead, because we obviously won't need, we don't need to turn it into bales if we're just dropping it off directly. That's definitely an idea. That wouldn't be a, if we get a little bit of extra money coming in and we feel like we're, we're good on money, that would not be a bad investment at all. Just be a little bit quicker. Not much, I mean the bailing's not bad. this up oh we are nice all 
All right, there we go. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, plus the two we already sent. So 12 bells total. It's not bad. All right, I think I'll get these bells shifted over uh, between episodes. And when we come back, I'll probably be ready to fast forward to corn harvesting time. And hopefully, uh, um, see, corn harvest is October. Yeah, so when we harvest the corn, we will also be able to hopefully sell the milk as well. How much is our milk currently worth? Uh, let's go up here. Now, it's not counting what's in the trailer right now. So I think we got about 20... How much do we have in the trailer? Uh, let's see if we go over here. Twenty-four thousand liters there, plus the sixteen thousand liters in the uh, barn. So that's forty thousand liters. I mean, that's going to be worth. It's almost one to one, right? Once you, especially once you add on the uh, the extra bonus from precision farming. It's going to be close to 40,000 bucks. That's that's a good chunk of money. All right, like I said, I'll get the rest of this picked up on my own and I'll bring you guys back when we're basically ready for corn. I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.